Well, Latoya, the book is getting a lot of a uh, lot of attention. Very mm. controversial. How do you feel now that it's out? Um, any regrets that you wrote it, or anything you'd like to delete, or straight Add. ahead? <laughs> no, no regrets whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I feel very good. Actually, it was therapy for me to release everything out of my system. Uh -huh. Actually, it felt very good. That can do that sometimes. Writing a book can relieve oh, you yes. of, uh, of everything inside. You called it a highly dysfunctional family, although on the yes. surface it seemed like the American dream. Yes, of course, naturally. In our family, because we, that was always that facade up there, smiling in front of the cameras. But when we got home, it was totally different. It was an entirely different lifestyle at home. Well, what was it like at home? It was very, very hard. My father was very strict. Uh, he beat us. Well, there, when you say he beat you, did he spank you, whip you? I mean, what? He had a talking? belt. You say in the book that belts, whips, whatever. My brothers were grown, and my father would take his fists and he would punch them and knock them down the steps constantly. Would they provoke to this him? Day, no, of course not. To this day, they are still afraid of my father, and they will tell you. They will come, they come to me, and they say, LaToya, we, we have kids in college, and we're afraid of my father still today. Mm. But my mother allowed this to go on, which makes it so bad. She, she didn't stop it. She, too, was an abuse victim, wasn't she? My Sometimes? mother, by my father, according yeah. to my brother, yes. According to Michael, he would tell me he would see my father beating my mother. I had never seen my father beat my mother. You but I, he beats all mm. of us. I got beat once only, but you the came brothers... Home with straight A report card and I got came beat. home with a report card and there it was. He beat me. I didn't know why because when you're young you don't understand. But it was because I didn't speak up and talk in school. And the reason for that is because I saw so much going on inside the house. I said to myself, I don't want to be a part of this. And I would never talk. I was so quiet and shy because I didn't want it to happen to me. So did this persist all through your childhood and continue into your young adulthood? Adult, everything. I mean, Michael was doing, um, I think it was off the wall thriller and he was still getting beat but what you guys see is him up on the awards accepting these awards and smiling and my father's chasing him around the house and he's running from him terrified you said that michael was the only one that actually tried to fight back and tried well, he to was hit a your little father. boy yes he was the only one i don't think he knew exactly what he was doing but the more he would get beat he'd throw it back at him and throw a shoe he would have to always get the last lick in always and yet he wrote a book and where he didn't talk about the abuse at all he did talk about the beatings in his book he does he mentions that his father was very abusive. He beat them all the time. Really? My I mother also wrote a book, and she also mentions that in her book, and mm -hmm. she also mentions my father's second family and so many other things. But um, she omitted this from her book in America, but the, the book that she wrote in Paris, is, it's still there. What's it's been the reaction there. of your family to this book? I have no idea. My parents, of course, they're denying it, and, of course, typical that they would deny it. Denial is the first sign of dysfunctional and abuse as well. However, outsiders have accepted the book and they can understand. They understand about the abuse. There wasn't just physical abuse, it was also mental abuse, which is very disturbing, and also sexual abuse as well. That you don't write about in the book. You allude to it, that your, your sister I really left. I touch it very lightly because it's a very touchy subject and it's dealing with my sister and I wasn't able to talk about myself just yet. You have to be ready to come out and talk about these things. And it, it's a very sad story because Rebe is a wonderful person, I must say. And she left home at a very young age. She left home when she was, I think it was 16 years old. And the reason she left is because my father would get out of the bed with my mother and he would get in the bed with Rebe. And my mother, my, Rebe would ask my mother, please, mother, get help for him. And she wouldn't, she would not. So Rebe had to leave home. There were times, of course, when my mother would say, Joe, not tonight, leave her alone, let her rest. Don't get in the bed with her. And then Rebe called me and she said to me, she says, Latoya, I have a question I want to ask you. I said, what is it, Rebe? And she said, when I left home all these years, now this is just recent, all these years I wondered if Joseph ever sexually abused you the way he did me. Was it happening with you and Janet? And I couldn't answer her. And she says, please tell me, and I wouldn't. It's things that you don't talk about. And she says, Latoya, you have to tell me. And I said, Rebe, there are just certain things you don't talk about, isn't there? And she says, okay, I understand. And so, that's when she asked me about Janet, and I said, I don't know what happened to Janet. Well, what about you, LaToya? Did he sexually abuse yes, you? Yes, he did. Very badly, Do yes. you think he did Janet? I don't know. She's never spoken about it. I certainly hope he didn't. She has never spoken about it. My father, it began with me when Rebe left, and then it started with me. So when and did you what, decide that you were going to talk about it? You live with this all your life and you feel that you're doing something wrong and you're frightened when this is happening to you. And you're embarrassed. I have been embarrassed all my life to ever talk about it, to mention it. 
shy, afraid that people can see through me and see that this is happening. You felt like your and, family's living a lie all these years. Well, they have been living a lie, definitely. But uh, it, the disturbing and hurting part about it all is that my mother never did anything about it. And I wanted her so badly to say, Latoya, is he bothering you? Is he touching you? Did he touch you? I would direct questions to her and throw them at her, leaving it open so she could say, Latoya, did he ever touch you? Why and would she, she wouldn't. leave him then, if, that, if it's That's what Rebe she... would always say, Mother, and Rebe would tell me, I don't know why Mother didn't leave him. And you got to think, sometimes I say, is it because there are so many children? No, it wasn't that. Because after a while, everybody was old enough. You've never asked your mom that? Yes. What she is... has no answer to it. You know, your family got in touch with us this morning. Mm -hmm. They sent, um, we think it's legitimate, it's on their stationery. You would be able to tell us if it is. And it, they're saying, um, we would like to make a statement in regards to our daughter Latoya Jackson's book. First, we would like to say to Latoya that we love you and you are still part of the family. We also like, would like to apologize for any misunderstandings or bitterness that you may have, have, have due to being a part of the family. We cannot understand, this is written wrong, what prompt you to feel so bitter, but we hope someday that those things can be reconciled. Then it says, to the public, we would like to say as a family, we are just like any other family. We have our differences, but we manage to get through them. And then we do not care to elaborate nor narrate on Latoya's book, nor the things she's doing, since there is no truth or validity to the accusations made. We think it's best to let the book ride on its, its own course. And it says, thanks to the people who have been supportive of the Jackson family. May God bless you all. Is this the first time that, you've heard from no, them? No, I've, I've heard that letter before. There yeah, you have it. They're sending it out to everybody the, before Everybody you go. has this letter before I go on to show my parents in this letter out. Again, that's a sign of just wanting to deny everything. And it hurt so bad when I was on another program and my family, my, my parents actually, I should say, denied everything, everything. If they would just come out and speak out and tell the truth, it would help so many other people. And that's the reason for writing it. I, I feel that I'm going to reach out and help other people who have been abused. Because you don't understand, but once you're abused, it affects you terribly. This goes on and on, and you live with it, and you live in shame. And you can't really speak out because you're afraid. And finally you get courageous enough to do it. And then you do. And then you feel like the world's turning on you because you've been courageous? Yes, because you're doing it. Yes, it's like they don't want to hear it. But it exists, and you have to accept it. And don't be afraid to speak out if you're being abused. It's a terrible thing. We're talking with Latoya Jackson about her book called Growing Up in the Jackson Family, and we'll be right back.